بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello and welcome my dear students to our lesson of today which is going to be about 3E Urban Life from the book Traveler 2 This lesson is for the first secondary stage from the second semester prepared by Amna Madkhali and presented by Yasser Innakhali Today inshallah we will read about a beautiful city and practice adjectives describing places now look at this picture here look at this man okay and please now try to answer this question what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a city what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a city okay now vocabulary adjective describing places Read the sentences below and match the adjective in bold with the definition from A to H. Now look at these now words, match them with the phrases or definition you can find here. Crowded, peaceful, ancient, noisy, safe, popular, historic, and cozy. A. Comfortable and warm B. Quiet and calm C. Full of people D. Making a lot of noise E. Liked by a large number of people F. Very old G. Important in history H. Not dangerous Okay, let's check our answer now Number one, crowded. That means C, peaceful. B, ancient. F, noisy. D, safe. H, popular. E, historic. G, and finally, number eight, cozy. That means A, comfortable and warm. Very good. Now let's go to speaking. Try right, talking pairs. The three people below have been offered jobs in the three cities presented. Read the information. Discuss then decide which city is the most suitable for each person. Give reasons for your choices. Now look at these three men here. Okay, Karim Salman, Ryan, and Harry Bear. Okay, very good. Let's go to the cities Chicago, Illinois, New York City, and Minneapolis. Okay, very good. Now let's go to listening. Listen to Bob talking to a friend about his new life. What is his opinion about life in the city? Listen carefully, please. 3E Urban Life 3. Listening Nice cafe. Yeah, I come here often with my colleagues. So, how's life in the city? I think I made the right decision moving here. Isn't it a bit dangerous in the city centre? Well, I don't really live in the centre. I'm in the north of the city. I see. Well, it's very different from your old neighbourhood. Oh yes, there's so much to do here. It's brilliant. Shops and museums, eh? No, that's not really for me. I love it here because I can watch United every Saturday. Of course, you're a football fan. But what about the shops here? There are many choices. Just take a walk and there's a great shop on every corner. Is your new job okay then? Yeah, it's great and my colleagues have been very nice to me. Well, the good thing is that you don't have to drive to get there. I know, I used to drive for an hour and there was so much traffic. So, how do you get there? Do you walk? It's a bit far, so I take the underground. 
There's a station just outside my block of flats, which is very convenient. What's your flat like? It's small, but it's cosy. The neighborhood is a bit noisy, but I like it. It's full of life, and there's a park nearby. What floor are you on? The seventh. Do you have a nice view? Or do you have to look at your neighbor's washing every day? It's not that bad. But all I can see is a boring office building. Oh, well. You seem really happy here. And... Okay, question number one. Where does Bob live? Where does Bob live? And the answer is B. Very good. Now listen again, okay, and try to answer this question. Where does Bob go every weekend? Number two, where does Bob go every weekend? And the answer is, okay, very good, B. Question number three, how does Bob get to work? How does Bob get to work? And the answer is the underground. 4. What can Bob see out of his window? What can Bob see out of his window? A. Very good. Now let's go to writing. A description of a place discuss what is the most interesting place you have ever visited what is the most interesting place you have ever visited and why did you like it okay now read the text and choose A, B, or C. Yambo On Saudi Arabia's western coast is one of the most relaxing cities I have ever visited. Yambo is made up of three villages Al Balad, Al Nakhil, and Yambo Al Sinaya, which are all very close to each other. Yambo is one of the oldest cities of the kingdom and has many interesting places to see. If you walk along some of the narrow streets of the old part of the city, you will see a museum and a numerous impressive buildings, some of which are extremely old and offer a fascinating look into the history of Yambo. This area used to be the home of Lawrence of Arabia. There is also a variety of options for recreation Yombo's beautiful beaches and opportunities for water sports such as scuba diving or snorkeling on Barracuda Beach and coral gardens attract many tourists every year. There are also many places to shop and restaurants where you can try Saudi cuisine. Yombo is a very beautiful city and I had a fantastic time there. It was an unforgettable experience. It was an unforgettable experience and I hope to visit this wonderful city again. Now choose. The text is A. Part of a story that happened in Yombo B. A description of Yombo C. An advertisement about a holiday in Yombo Okay, and the answer is B. A description of Yombo Very good C. Read again and answer the following questions In which paragraph from 1 to 4 does the writer describe what tourists can do there. Say how he or she feels about the place. Describe some places in the city. Give general information about the place. Take your time 
and choose your answers carefully. Okay, let's check your answers. What can tourists do there? Number three, paragraph number three. How she or he feels about the place. Number four, describing some places in the city. Number two, and give general information about the place. Number one. Two, which adjectives does the writer use to make the description more lively? Do you remember the adjectives? Okay, let's see the adjectives that the writer used in the text. He used relaxing, interesting, narrow, impressive, fascinating, beautiful, fantastic, unforgettable, and wonderful. Very good. Now let's go to evaluation. Complete the dialogue with the word in box. There are two extra words which you do not need to use. You have square, tourists, peaceful, countryside, unforgettable, crowded, tour, narrow, and suitable. Okay, let's see number one. Unforgettable experience. Number two, tourists. Three, tour. Four, crowded. Five, narrow. Six, countryside. And number seven, peaceful. Okay, today we learned, read about a beautiful city, which is Yombo from Saudi Arabia. And we practiced adjectives describing places, relaxing, interesting, narrow, impressive, fascinating, beautiful, fantastic, unforgettable, and wonderful. These are the references to our two students' book work, book teacher's guide. For more information and lessons, please do not hesitate to call us on our website, our Twitter account, or our phone number. Thank you, and hope to see you again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.